What's up guys, back for another video. In today's video, I wanna make a video on this other weather um, station right here. This is a lacrosse technology weather station. Um, and here's what it is. It is a S or five or S, I don't know what's in the beginning. Um, S, I'm gonna say it's an S. S88907V2. Um, so there's that, it comes with a sensor, which is TX141TH8. V3. So there's that. Comes with them. Um, and the reason this is not another iPhone video is just because Apple has not been releasing many updates that have been video makeable about. Um, I've already reviewed all my stuff. Um, so not much content needing on that right now. But I'll make Echo videos and I'll make, I'll have videos. But anyway, here's this other weather station I wanted to make a video on. And this is not, this one doesn't have as much features as say i'm not gonna go over everything you can do with it as say this one i have over here which i made a video on a couple days ago so this might be a little shorter of a video but that's all right i just want to kind of review this product and let's see how it, how it is um so as you can see i have a lot of temperature things i can open this i still have three new ones in here which are not activated these are little um, desk ones you can put out on your desk and see if i Pull it out here. Kind of separate this little tab. We're going to get some activation on it there. So, and then you can also put it back in. So you just take this bottom piece off. Kind of slide it back up. If you want to store it, then it won't work. And simply start back in the bag. Put it back in the package. So there's that, however. Um, we're not going to review that because there's only one feature and it's changing it between Fahrenheit and Celsius. So we don't need to review that. However, this has a couple um, features to go with it. Um, it has just the outdoor sensor, which is already outside. Um, so let's go over every setting you can set. Let's start here with the back. What do we have here? On the back of the device, we have our battery setups where you can put your batteries in for backup in case your power goes out. Kind of handy, you don't have to set your clock or connect your thing in. Kind of handy there. Let's see, there we go. And we have some button functions up here. And here's what I'm gonna go over next. On the front of our screen here, um, Here's our, our device. So on the back, we have, um, first we have snooze, light, high, low, and off. Um, so these are kind of all your settings depending on what you're, you're using here. So I'm not snoozing an alarm, so it's just gonna be my light control. As you can see, but if you are doing um, an alarm, it'll snooze it. That, that'll be your kind of setting there. So you guys probably can't read this. But our second one here, it says time set. So you set your date and time settings. So if we go ahead and click on this, this one click will simply just do a um, WWVB time search, which is connecting to satellites in Colorado to get you Fort Collins to be exact. Um, the, the WWVB station there to get you your time um, thing. And that's what all atomic kind of clocks will go from is that one station so like i said you'll get that bar receiver you might need to put this near a window if you really want to get a signal so you can see there we had a little scan thing now we can set our clock to our preference our year our date <clears throat> and if we're using degrees and whatever um so yeah, we're still scanning there. So you can see there's, there's WWVB, it is on. So that's how I want that to be. We'll just make sure that continues to scan. <clears throat> All right, next one, we're gonna look at our heat and do. This is our heat and do and heat index do point. So first of all, we're gonna see this. Clicking this, we have our heat which is the same as our degrees, and then we have our dew. Our dew point is at 14 degrees right now. And that's the button, that's what that button will give you. 
Um, this is our up and down. So what these two buttons will do is they'll help you set your clock, your date, or anything else. Um, and change your degrees or your anything. But if you're just on your home screen here, you're going to get an option to see your max temperature. So here's the max for the day, which was 29 degrees Fahrenheit. And our low, which was 20 degrees Fahrenheit. This also applies um, to the bottom. So you get to see your min and max temperatures and same with humidity. Here you can see we have some low battery indicators. Um, just kind of in the, the thing right there. You can see there's a low battery indicator a little bit. Um, it's not on. It'll light up if there is low battery. However, that's on the bottom and top. The bottom will obviously tell you if your indoor device is low. And that'll tell you if your remote is low. And up here we have a pressure tendency kind of... Um, what you call that screen right there, um, which kind of actually what this does, it takes your outdoor temperature. It's 23 right now. There's no rain in the forecast. I don't know how it does it, but it, it even says on the back here, if we read it, it says, um, this weather station calibrates barometric pressure based on its location over a period of time to generate accurate personal forecast. Please allow seven to 10 days of calibration. And that's after a restart. So if you unplug your device and plug it back in, you'll have to allow them seven to 10 days again. But this is just telling you your pressure, your your conditions almost. Right now, it's up saying it's cloudy. And if I look outside, we got some sprinklations of snow. So that's, I mean, I've never understood the point of this fully. But I've seen everything. I've seen the rain, the lightning, and the snowfall coming. And like I said, this just tells us what our pressure tendency is. So right now, it's just middle. Sometimes we'll see that up or down, depending on what the pressure outside is and inside is. So that's about it for this. And then on the front, we do have a couple more. We have the alerts button, which is going to be located near the left side. Well, I don't even need to explain that. It says alerts right there. So if it gets 140 degrees outside, which it's never got, then I will get an alert if that's what I wanted to set it. You can change that again by hitting the um, up and down arrows. See, it's set right there, and you can change that number. Um, and then if we hit negative 40, which did happen here this year, then I'll get an, I would get an alert if I did have it on. Um, same goes for inside. If it's 122 degrees, yeah, I'm cut. You can customize this, but I'm just kind of making fun of the defaults. If it was 122 degrees in my house and I wanted to leave it as the default, I could um, set that alert. But I can, like I said, I can change it. I can make that number up or down based on my up and down buttons on the back. Um, and if it is 32 degrees in my house, my pipes will freeze and I will get a notification. Again, I can kind of customize um, these buttons on the back. So there's that, and that's about all, except our alarm, which is our last button. Simply clicking the alarm allows us to set the alarm. And to set an alarm, hold the alarm button, Um, now you're in the set. When anything is flashing, you can use them up-down arrows to set it. So I want to get up at 3.45 a.m., 4.45, or 5.45. I can choose the time and click alarm again, which sets that segment. You cannot click set because that will go to your clock. It just doesn't work for alarm. Alarm is its own button, which needs to be pressed each time. Okay, we're set. You want to turn your alarm off. It's going off in the morning. You click it once. That'll turn your alarm off. You click it again, that will actually disable your alarm. Um, you want to turn your alarm on, click it once, and see so you can quickly enable and disable your alarm simply by this. But it is a weekend tomorrow, so I'm going to go ahead and click that alarm off. Um, like I said, I can again change this alarm, hold in. It will turn it on, but you set your alarm, go back, hold it again. Or don't hold it, just click it once. If you're on the clock screen, you might have to click it twice because you got to get into the area first. So, for example, okay, it's 10 or 14 p.m. I can't just click it once. I got to click it one and two. That way it does first enter there and leave there and set that alarm. So simple as that. The alarm, it starts off with a doot, doot, doot. It goes and then goes.
and then just kind of consistent. So it really will wake you up. I use this because I have my phone to actually wake me up and then I have to use this to actually get out of bed because I'm that kind of person where I just come over and click stop on my alarm. So yeah, that's why I use this and it does work very well. Um, so yeah, works pretty great. Um, it's like I said, a shorter video on this, but I mean, it's still a very good device. It does your outdoor temp. It doesn't connect to Wi-Fi like that one does, so you don't get your stuff, but you get the comfort. And let's just kind of explain everything on the screen here. You obviously got your alarm, your clock, your hours, your minutes, your PM or AM, your WWVB um, atomic um, scan search, um, your day, your date, your kind of display here, your pressure, you got your what, whatever you're using, degrees, trend arrow, and decimals, humidity with the signal indicator telling you, hey, you got this much signal to your device. Trend on that, too, you got your trend percent and your actual humidity percent. Same with the inside. You got your unit, temperature, trend arrow, humidity, percent, and trend arrow. And then here we got our alerts. If you want to turn them on, you'll see that on or off, and you'll see a little thing in the middle there. And for the last one, you got your comfort indicators, which go off your inside house humidity. Um, currently, this would be sore throat for me because it's dry, and you usually get sore throats when it's dry. Um, then you got your good and your humid. So you really want to be in that green area on this um, thing rather than the blue or the yellow. Humid can get like stuff like... Oops, something happened here with the phone. Okay. Yeah, with the um, humid, you can get mold in your walls and then dry. Just health problems can occur. And same with humid. You really want to be in that good area, which is kind of nice where this device kind of has that. So that's about it, guys. The device works great. Like I said, if you have the backup batteries, you can unplug the barrel plug from the device, um, and it will still run. However, it will not stay awake, so you have to click the button every time. You can still see, and you're wondering, how's that happening? Could you see it better if it was dark? And something I used to think, well, I can see it in the light. It's going to be seen better in the dark, but no, that's not how it works. That's called, it's a backlight, so really the lights are in here working. So if I turn my bedroom lights off, it'll just be black. Um, there's no backlight, which is lighting this. If I took my phone flash, you could really see it. But yeah, you can kind of see there. The screen is still working, just no backlight to light. So simply you can fix this by hitting alarm. That wakes it up. Or you can kind of just click these up and down arrows on the back if you don't want to have it plugged into an AC adapter. Or is that what that is? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So then you can, yeah, you can click the down and up and it's the only way you can wake it so i like it plugged in so i get a consistent um not turn off of display it does work great that way having it displayed right here i always like said all the time have it plugged in down here on my wall so get that full-time screen on just kind of then that way it keeps track of everything i get my lows my high temperatures uh, throughout the day it's kind of nice and this one i i find more accurate on sunny days because I have these two temperature things, the outside remote temperature things, in a birdhouse that birds don't go in, but it's a birdhouse decoration. Um, and this one's outside sensor over there gets the sun. So it could be a 40 degree day, but if it gets sun, it'll say 70. And that worries me about when summer comes. If it's an 80 degree day, it's going to say 130 or something. I don't want damage to occur to the device. So I'm going to find something to cover that up. I don't know if I gotta find like whatever it is or a piece of plastic or something to put in there to block that sun, but whatever it is, I'll have to use. Because if it's saying 70 degrees on a 40 degree day <clears throat> because of that sun, then I'm scared to see what it'll say on an 80 degree day, 85 degree day in the summer, or 90 degree day in the summer with full sun. 150, burn the thing up. So I'm gonna get that covered immediately here. But yeah, pretty cool device is right here. Um, that's about it for this video. Device works great. And I will make more reviews on these devices too as time goes and problems I experience. So, yep.